Okay. Um, the difference between organic portals and oh, by the way, I'm my name. I'm True Talk. Woof woof. Um, the difference between organic portals and people who are simply, uh, I guess you could call asleep or um, simply not aware of uh, the true uh, true reality. You know, and I was one of these. I was one of these people. And I don't think that I I, I, I hesitate to use the term asleep because I don't identify with that term personally. I, I don't feel like I was ever asleep. Um, it's more like as soon as I became aware of certain things, I became very interested, very fascinated. And for me, Learning all of all of the stuff that I've learned so far, and observing and researching and all that, um, it's more akin to remembering something that I was already aware of and had simply forgotten. So that's just how it was for me. And another thing, um, people talk a lot about like Kundalini awakenings and uh, all that sort of like spiritual awakenings. I don't think that I really went through any of that stuff. And that's not to say that, you know, I was always uh, hyper-aware or whatever. I mean, I was, I was fairly normal um, until about five years ago. Um, but I never experienced, like, that, that energy flow, or I never experienced, like, this amazing feeling, or I never, like, suddenly realized, oh, wow, you know, all this stuff. It's just, like, it was very gradual, um, yeah, and like even reptilians and all that sort of stuff, when I, when I found out about reptilians, it wasn't, uh, it wasn't like, you know, I got turned on to David Icke. I felt, I found out about David Icke like halfway through my research. I had heard in passing, actually like, it was a, a therapist that I was seeing, and this is like, I'm not, I'm not crazy. Uh, what I found out through my therapist is that I was actually very much sane. It was simply everyone around me was crazy, which that made me feel pretty, pretty good and pretty bad. Um, you know, but if you're the kind of person, like, I'll just say this, if you, if you are suffering from depression, that just means you're a real person because depression is, uh, a very sane reaction to an insane world. And that's what I was dealing with at the time, and I, you know, I wanted to, I couldn't, couldn't figure out why I wasn't happy like all the other stupid shitheads everywhere, you know. <laughs> and I, I, I found out that it's because I'm normal, and this world is not normal. And so, um, but anyway, I was, like, my therapist, like, well, I started finding out about, I started, the, the things that really woke me up, like, okay, September 11th, you hear about it, and uh, you're just like, okay, whatever. But you see a video, like, all you have to see is, like, one video where it shows a little bit of evidence that it was not, it was not how they said, and suddenly, if I, if you're a real person, this cog start turning, you're like, wait, what? Um, for me, I started... You know, you always hear, like I say, you always hear about 9-11 and all that stuff. Um, but, you know, the world's set up in a way where the truth is ridiculed, so you never look into it. Um, but I saw sort of like uh, circumstantial evidence, what I would consider circumstantial evidence, uh, that 9-11 was an inside job. Um, when, as like, the, the day before it happened, uh, like... Billions of dollar, US dollars went missing, you know, and it's like, okay, well, that makes sense a little bit for why it might be a hoax, because that's a ridiculously uh, convenient timing, you know, it's it's like, oh, you know, they, they would be in trouble the next day unless 9-11 happened, and it was like, okay, um, in retrospect, all of that was planned, they plan on they plan on uh, stealing the money or whatever happened to the money and they always plan on doing 9-11 because 
if you know anything about uh, what do you call them uh, predictive programming the fact that uh, you know all these movies and TV shows and music and albums and comic books and drawings and paintings and speeches all predicted 9-11 I do my I do my like finger quotes when I say predicted but I'm holding a, a laptop at the moment um, so just you know use your imagination uh, <laughs> uh, yeah so like finger quotes uh, whatever I just the predictions uh, yeah they're not really predictions these are people in the industry that have advanced knowledge on what uh, is going to happen and so they put it all in the uh, TV and all that sort of stuff uh, and uh, this what I've learned is that it's a way of warning people predictive programming when they telegraph their plans it's basically a, a sort of like a karmic loophole where they're telling you what they're planning to do and if you decide to do nothing to stop them um, then it's not their fault and that's kind of how they're absolved of negative karma because they told you they warned you you know not in a literal way um, and you technically knew, but you did nothing about it. So that's why they put these things in all the all the entertainment uh, beforehand. And if you like, I, I suppose you can always sort of tell what's going to happen when you see uh, something repeating over and over. One thing that one one predictive programming that actually tripped me up was uh, leading up into the uh, 2016 election with uh, old old Trump and uh, Hillary, where like every movie that was released, or well, not every movie, but like 75% of movies released start a, f a strong female protagonist that saves the day. And that just to me screamed, okay, that means Hillary's gonna, Hillary will gonna, is going to win. They're, 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 they're telegraphing that they're going to have a female leader. Um, but it didn't happen. Or well, maybe it did, because I think Trump's a tranny. <laughs> but you know it, it was very like I don't know what happened there it seemed like Hillary was supposed to win I mean maybe that's just a product of Mandela effect or whatever but uh, anyway what was I talking about oh yeah like how to tell the difference between did I even introduce the topic <laughs> how to tell the difference between uh, yeah a real person who is simply you know uh, not aware yet and, and an organic portal and I've I do this a lot in public or not I've done it a lot I don't do it all the time but I try to strike up conversations with people if I feel like there's an opening if I feel like they're receptive and um, you know it's like a trial and error thing I certainly know at this point after do doing it several times uh, the type of person who is and isn't receptive to such information and uh, I can tell you there's like a dramatic difference between a person who is able to uh, understand or wrap their head around the truth and people who aren't. And the people who aren't are organic portals, clones, uh, NPCs, fillers, empty seeders, uh, yeah, all that stuff. It's such a, to it's a total difference. Like you could say to somebody, and this is just not necessarily what I would say but just a general example you talk about to someone about hey have you heard about like celebrities being cloned or have you heard about like, chemtrails or um you know have you, what do you think what do you think the chances are that we're living in a simulation right you ask you ask this is how you find out if they're real or they're not real because that's the difference a, a person who is real may not know these things yet um, but they are receptive to hearing them, very receptive. So uh, I, as I was, that's how I know um, that it's that's how it works for other people. Uh, so you ask a, a real, you ask a, you ask an empty person that, and they're like, um, you, see, you say like, oh, you know, do you, have you, do you know about reptilians? And they go, what's that? And then you tell them, and they go, oh. No, that's, that's not no, no, and they sort of like try to walk away and get away from you. You tell a real person that, and they go, they go, what's that? And you tell them a little bit more, and you go, and they go, oh, that's kind of like blah blah blah, and the ball starts rolling. And you're like, yeah, yeah, and it, and you, and suddenly there's a back and forth where they 
like immediately you've you've lit you've lit a you've lit a match or, or, or in the head like a light bulb has gone on in the head and suddenly they're thinking about what you're talking about whereas you talk to a, a clone uh, organic portal they just basically they try they either shut you down it depends you know they might get angry they might say don't listen get away from me you know get get, get on your medication or whatever they might just um, just try to walk away from you and go, oh, no, 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 that's weird, and just, you know, leave me alone and just walk away. Or they will go, oh, okay, yeah. Um, well, anyway, like nice, nice weather we're having today, you know, and they'll, they'll, tr they'll try their best to turn it back to something very mundane and um, just ordinary, typical, just basic sort of, pointless uh, small talk small talk is what organic portals love they love talking about other people that's another thing organic portals they uh they they only really talk about other people oh did you hear what jane's up to oh did you hear about her son oh no you know i heard he, that he's looking for work and blah 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 all they talk about is like work and sports and uh and sex and just you know money that's all they really talk about so if you try to talk about them and uh they're polite they'll very politely and um <laughs> like very smoothly get the comfort they'll even pretend like they heard you and they'll they'll just like quickly redirect the conversation back to something very um typical and then you can try again and they'll, they'll keep doing it um some of them might just eventually shut down and stare at you it's very strange um I've had, had like weird experiences where I thought that a person like I I thought they should have been receptive like at like a spiritual store what do you call them like places where they sell uh, gems and uh, incense and all that crap uh, talking to people and yeah I thought they would be receptive and they they just like got so uncomfortable like they were going to shut down like they were a robot or something um, real people like honestly it's like you talk to them and they might not know what you're talking about but they'll ask questions and an empty person will not ask questions they'll they even uh, will literally like not hear what you're saying after a certain point i've had experience that where i talk to them and then i'm like halfway through a sentence and i go you're just not even listening to me are you and they go no i'm not i go all right then and that's happened a couple of times where I've asked them and they're honest, like they're like, no, I'm not listening. <laughs> it's that to me, like that's just dead. That's that's like there's no hope. Um, so anyway, I guess that's basically it. I don't want to go on for too much long because man, this laptop's heavy. Um, and you know, keep it short for once. So um, this has been a Truth Dog production, and. Uh, uh, yeah, truth dog out. Woof, 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 meow.